And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Carrie Diod. Thank you, Gord. Five minutes. And All right. And you'll give me a 30 second countdown, right? Sure. Yep. Okay. All right. Journalist Rock, Gord. Journalist Rock. Thank you. Um, yeah, well, thanks for the intro, Gord. Um, the, uh, this, uh, and thanks very much for, uh, for having me here. This is a very important uh, association, and I know some of the names are, are quite familiar and faces and so forth. One of the, th the first things I've, I've been asked is, um, you know, why, why are you running for mayor of Edmonton? Gosh, that's a big job, and uh, we were just talking about that on, on the table. And I'll give you the, the non-politically correct answer. I'm running because I'm concerned about the direction in which this city is going. And I could not sit still and simply run as a city councillor and, and watch as the city goes down a path. We are, we are doing very well right now in terms of we're blessed to be the engine of, the, uh, of, the, of Canada's economy. Uh, we truly are. We, we are the envy of the world. But we have to be very mindful of how we're spending money. We have to be mindful of debt. And we have to be mindful that people, we want to make sure that this city does not become unaffordable. And we've seen that. We've seen that in other cities like Vancouver and Toronto where, where people can't afford to get a house for their family. They can't afford, they, they, they're not making enough to sometimes even pay high rent. It happened to my very sister in, in Calgary. She moved out from the east because we're originally from northern Ontario. And uh, she had a, a, quite a good job. And there, there came a time where she, she started looking around at places to rent and she could not afford it. So I, I don't want to become that city. And I think that we've, we have gone down a, a path where we've had tax increases of double the rate of inflation. And that, I, I'm hearing that at the doors, that that hurts people. That hurts people who can least afford it. The, the, especially the people who are underemployed, people on fixed incomes. And we can do better. You know, you, you all know about business. You can't turn around every year and say, uh, you know, to, to your customers, okay, we're going to go up 5% five, 5 more, 5%, 5%, 5%. We need to challenge our administration and say, look, this city should run more like a business. And I think that there are probably people in this room who have had frustrations with, with administration and, and the lack of, of, of streamlining of, of processes. I, I, I kind of think that, you know, I, I, having talked to developers and bankers and so forth, some of the things are so obvious that we can improve, whether it's going online to make things easier. We can have, we can have people who are assigned files, almost like a caseworker. When somebody's bringing a business here, make it easy for them. You know, let's, let's bend over backwards for, for people who are true builders. And I think that we can do far better. Now, I've been out door knocking for a couple of months now, several months, in fact, and the issues that come up at the doors, again, it's debt and taxes. We, we had a debt 10 years ago of $400 million. It's now pushing toward $3 billion, and yet we still have so many investments to make in our city that, that, that are not covered off right now, whether it be hundreds of millions of dollars to repair our streets, whether it be the money that we need for the LRT, um, whether it be the Yellowhead Trail, which is in, it's in disarray. There are many challenges, and that's why I think it's time, and people are telling me this, to start thinking about things, whether it's a want or a need. And we've got about $7.2 billion in, in capital projects right now. And I think that after, as mayor, we've got to sit down and say, is this truly a want? Or is this a need? Where must we spend our money? Certainly, roads and sewage aren't sexy issues. But you know what? That, those, if, if you have good streets and good drainage and all of that, you attract business. We, we deserve to have that. That's what we pay taxes for. And we've got to get those right. And, and on the topic of world class, I, th I think I get a little bit, well, I, I do, not I think I get a little bit. 
annoyed when people say, we've got to be a world-class city, we've got to be a world-class city. You know, we are a world-class city. We've got world-class medicine, we've got world-class institutions, education, we've got democracy, which is, you know, an amazing thing in itself, and we've got safety and opportunity. So I think that, you know, we have to, we continue to reach out to other parts of the world, as, as you know, and we continue to keep that engine of the economy going. And again, I, uh, I thank you very much for putting this on, and uh, I'll be very pleased to answer any of your questions.